Hey you guys, it's your girl Jasmine Tate and I am back with another video and we are talking about how to launch your cleaning business from scratch without knowing anything, any information, okay? Whether, I mean, whatever kind of other field you were in, I'm going to show you how you'll be able to start this business and grow it to six figures without you having any previous knowledge or skills, okay? So before we get into that, you guys go ahead and do all the things of all the things, like, share, subscribe. Also follow me, you guys, on social, Instagram and Facebook at Jasmine Tates. Um, so that way you'll be in the know of all information that I will be dropping um, coming soon, okay? So let's get into this, all right? How to launch your cleaning business from scratch without knowing anything. And yes, you can totally do it because I did it. I had no, besides the knowledge of what a broom does, <laughs> No, but I'm a cleaner. I'm a big cleaner in my own home. So besides that knowledge, that was all I, that's pretty much all I knew, which I didn't need any of that to, to start this business. So what you'll need to start this business from scratch, you guys, now listen, okay, before we get into all the details, this is basically a general information because you will want to check with your state, your secretary of state on different actual requirements, especially with this first part, you guys. I get this all the time. Like, well, in my state, I need this. In my state, I need this. That's awesome. I don't live in your state, so I don't know. But definitely check with your SOS, secretary of state, for like those LLC, DBA, business license requirements, okay? So let's get into this. Now, for the fundamentals, it's basically like mm, three parts um of like that 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 launching your business what you will need to get your business up and running phase okay your foundational phase how to find your cleaners and how to find your clients so with your foundational basis you want to make sure that your business is set up legally legitimately correctly okay now yes i have videos i have like a real little sad video it's not sad i just got a little emotional okay but it's not sad where like I tell it how it is. Like, look, I didn't have this, so I did this, okay? Um, and that's not how I like to teach you guys to how to properly do it, but I get some situations may call for that, okay? So I get it. Now, let's say you have the funds and you're like, Jazz, I'm ready to start this business from the ground up. Tell me what I need. You're gonna need to have an LLC. I recommend this. Now, you may not need to have it in the beginning, Okay, you can maybe make some some coins, make some profit, have, get some leads and clients, um, and then get the LLC. But I do recommend that you have one because it helps protect and keep your business funds separated from your personal funds. Okay, so if Miss Susie, you know, breaks a client's china doll and she tries to come for you for ten thousand dollars, she won't be able to come to your personal assets. Only things that belong to that business LLC. Okay. Um, and then a DBA or business license. This allows you to do business legally in your county. I say both because different areas call it different, but it's technically this it's, it's technically the same thing. Um, and the fees for those are, are not as expensive here in Dallas. I think it's like twenty seven dollars. Um, but like I said, check with your SOS, okay? Um, and then you're gonna want to get your business bank account, right? This is gonna allow you to be able to collect those funds and have you a Stripe account um, uh, and set up like your, your booking management system. So you wanna check out and get a business bank account, um, either with your local uh, financial institution, your credit union, or free online um online bank that they like an online business bank like blue vine things like that okay um then you want to set up your stripe this is super important because your stripe is going to be able to collect the money from your clients and send it to your account um then you're going to need to have a virtual address you're going to need to have a virtual phone number grasshopper open phone those are good options um a virtual address you can do like a um, what is it? A, a uh, co-working space, co-working spaces like re regions, they have a uh, virtual addresses, or you can even find one online. Now, if you find one online though, you guys, please Google that thing. I remember I tried to get a virtual address and be on the super cheap side. And when I got the address and I Googled it, it was literally like an alleyway. 
<laughs> in downtown Dallas. Like that's the Google image that popped up. Okay. So make sure if you go, if you try to go the cheap way, like Google that thing and kind of vet it and see like, is it when people Google your business, is that what they want to find? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, so you want your, your virtual phone. I preferably like open phone. It's the most simplest, easiest to me, but there's, there's other ones like grasshopper. That's a, a another popular one that people use. Okay. Um, and then you want to get your business name. So you want to get check and make sure that your business name is available. I like name cheat for domain. You can do GoDaddy. You can do one on one. Um, there's some other ones as well. And you want to check to see if your business name is available. Now, of course, you're checking that you, if you have your business name already from your, for your, you know, you did your name search in your county and you have your business name, right? Now, if your business name is not available with your domain, kind of get a little unique, right? Put in front of it like book, whatever that, because the, the domain like doesn't have to be the actual business uh, the business name. Um, you can put like a word in front of it or you can get a little creative with like the, the actual URL home. So instead of it being .com, it can be like .ai, .io. What am I doing with my fingers? <laughs> um, you know, like something like that. Um, .org, you know what I mean? So get a little creative that way. Um, and then once you have your domain, then you can get your business email address. I preferably like Google Suites, um, G Suites for their business email address. I'm so used to Google email. It just, the aesthetics look the same. So that's what I like that. So then you want to get your business email address. Okay. So we have your bank, Stripe, booking system. I preferably like to use Booking Koala. There's other ones though, like Zenmade. There's Launch 27. There's Madely. There are other ones. I preferably like booking Koala, okay? And then you have your uh, virtual address, your virtual phone number, and your email address. Now that you have all of those things set up, right? Now you wanna start looking for your cleaners. Now, I get this question asked all the time, do I look for my cleaners before I look for my clients? And yes, you wanna look for your cleaners first because what you don't want to happen is that you get a client and then you don't have a cleaner. And now you're in a rush position to hurry and find a client, a cleaner to maybe settle on somebody that's not so good, that doesn't have experience, that doesn't have the cleaning products. And I know this because I've done this. I've been in this situation before to where I've had a job and I didn't have a cleaner available and I'm like in a super rush to find a cleaner and it never ends well, never, okay? So it's better to find your cleaners and just keep an open communication with them. Let them know, like if you're brand new, let them know, like don't keep them in the dark. Let them know like, hey, we're just starting. We're putting all of our max efforts into bringing in new clients and we'll let you know as soon as something comes up. And then in, in between time, just keep in constant contact with them. Like, hey, hope everything's going well. Hope you had a good weekend. Just wanna let you know that we're still putting good efforts into this and we'll get X, Y, and Z, right? Because you, like I said, you don't wanna find a client and then you're either put in a rush situation to her and find a cleaner or or you will do it and you don't want that either. Um, or, you know, you'll make the client wait and eventually they'll leave. So I always say find your cleaners first, okay? Um, your places that you want to find cleaners is going to be, uh, if you're trying to like a paid way, would be Indeed, ZipRecruiter, Monster. Now those can get pricey. But those are other places that, those are maybe, I don't wanna say easier because it really just depends on the region, you guys. Um, I've, I've looked for cleaners in several different areas and sometimes I'm able to find cleaners really fast and in some areas I'm not. Like it's, you know, I would say it sucks, but then I'm like, oh, do I say that to let them know? But yeah, this, this part of the business can be pretty long. This part of the business is something that is something that you will continually do, that you'll always have to be hiring. So just get used to the practice. It's really a numbers game. Basically, you call, now this is excessive numbers, but it's easy numbers, okay? Let's say you call 100, 80 answer, 50 is interested, 20 is qualified, you know, 10 goes through the process and two passes, right? But you got two cleaners. 
Each one of them can produce a hundred figures for your business by alone. Okay, so don't don't be like, yo, Jazz, two cleaners after all of that. I'd be I would be happy if I get two cleaners <laughs> after those numbers. Okay, but it's it's just a numbers game. Okay, just keep the ball rolling. Um, but so your paid options would be Indeed. Uh, zip recruiter monster okay some of your freeways not the freeway but the free like money freeway right <laughs> would be craigslist and this is not posting a job ad on craigslist this is looking for cleaners that is looking for work this this is looking for cleaners that are um this is looking for cleaners y'all hear jay savory jay savory I know, but mommy's talking to her YouTube people. Let mommy finish talking to her YouTube family and then I'll call you back. You can tell me in a little bit, okay? Huh? Let mommy finish talking to her YouTube family and then I'll get back to you. If you guys are new and this is your first time hearing Jay Savior pop up on a video, welcome to my channel. And if you guys are not and you guys are all Jay Savory's aunties and uncles out there, just wave them high, okay? <laughs> this is what stay-at-home mom really looks like, all right? We have pop-ups, okay? But let me get back to the story, okay? So now look, he made me lose my train of thought. Now I was really trying to remember. Okay, but um, so, you, so yes, I'm looking for cleaners that is looking for work, right? Um, with 1099 contractors, I don't mind them already having clients. I don't mind them working. Actually, I like it, especially in the beginning, because I know that they're not fully dependent on me looking, for, waiting for jobs and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's okay for me. Like, I don't, I'm not worried if they're going to steal my clients. Speaking about that, I'm going to make another video about that. Cause that's like my number two most asked question. But, um, but yeah, so I'm looking for cleaners that's posting ads on Craigslist that they're looking for jobs, that, that they are looking for clients, that they have availability, right? So they are aver essentially advertising their business. I'm reaching out to them. And what it looks like is like, hey, Susie, this is Jasmine. Um, I own a small cleaning company here in Dallas, and I'm looking to partner with um, 1099 uh, Reliable Cleaning uh, Contractors. Do you have... Um, any time or any space to accept new clients. That's kind of like my bait. And I see if they're going to respond and then I start sparking up a conversation with them. Okay. So I'm looking on Craigslist um, and then I'm doing the same thing looking on Facebook Marketplace, which essentially is the same thing as Craigslist. It's just on Facebook. Um, I'm also looking on Nextdoor. I'm looking on Facebook groups. And with the Facebook groups, my little trick for Facebook groups, okay, is that I go to the community of where I'm going to be offering the service. So let's say I go to Willow Green Park Place community, right? You guys know like how suburbs and stuff have like their own name, right? Uh, I don't even know that's a real name, but let's say I go to Willow Green community, Facebook community page. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the people in the group that's looking for cleaners. So they're like, hey guys, you know, I have a, I'm, I'm, I'm having guests over for Christmas. I'm looking for a cleaning company. Can you guys recommend somebody? And the people that respond to that post, not the ones that's giving them like, oh, hey, yeah, call, um, like leaving links and calling. Like, hey, call, you know, ABC Cleaning Club. Like they're amazing, right? No, I'm looking for the people that's like, saying and like responding as themselves as cleaners like hey i can clean this for you or hey I, you know i'm available or hey i sent you a dm or hey I, you know i'm available to clean i'm reaching out to them and i'm giving them my same spill and sometimes i'll just send them a dm directly or sometimes i will respond uh reply back to their comment and i'd be like oh hey i'm also looking for a cleaning can i send you a message or maybe not that because i don't want to be like I don't want to come off as like falsy, you know, that's not a word, but y'all get it. Like, so then maybe my message is like, Hey, um, I have, I have a question. Can I send you a Facebook message? Right now they're going to assume, I mean, that they want me to clean their house, but I'm going to be like, Hey, not my house, but other people's house. Okay. So <laughs> that's how you want to find your cleaners. All right. Um, so once you find your cleaners, I just did a video talking about how many cleaners you need to start with just one. 
Now, you don't stop looking, but you can just start accepting leads for that one person, okay? Go back and check out that video as well where I talk about how many cleaners you'll actually need to start your cleaning business. Now, you got your cleaners. Now, you need to find your clients, okay? Now, of course, depending on your budget or if you have a budget, um, there's some different ways you can find cleaners. I'm always going to say to start off with, ask all your friends and family. Let them know. Like, hey, uncle, auntie, dentist, doctor grocery store clerk, I'm starting this cleaning business um, and I would love to be able to provide you with a discount for my first cleaning to help my business grow, right? Or if you don't have, if you don't want your home clean, I would greatly appreciate any referrals that you can take. But, but use that list first, right? Use your close friends and family list first. Send everybody a text message in your phone book. Send everybody an email, um, invite on your email, post it on your social, like let the world know that you are opening the cleaning business. You are open for business to take on any clients or any referrals, okay? Um, and then from there, you can try those Facebook groups. You can post in your Facebook group community. Hey, you guys, I'm super, super excited. I wanted to let you guys know first that, you know, your neighbor here in the Willow Green Park community just launched a cleaning business. And if you need any cleaning services, me and my team would love, love to help you. Okay, you can post that also on your main Facebook page. You can post that on next door. Okay, um, and then like your paid ways are gonna be Yelp, uh, Google, uh, Google Local, Google Ads, and Thumbtack. Thumbtack to me is not. A, I don't know that Thumbtack. I know that Thumbtack is not like the number one best best option, right? It's not like the most scalable option. Um, even though I made over two hundred thousand dollars on Thumbtack. I think I got to do a video on that. <laughs> I made over $200,000 on Thumbtack alone, okay? Um, so, but a lot, some people don't like it, you know, to each his own, okay? But Thumbtack, I feel like it's always going to provide you with your fastest cash flow. They're, they're going to give you like the best, uh, the best act, uh, the best option to get like the most leads the fastest. Okay, while you're building up Google, while you're building up Yelp, right? Thumbtack, you need 10 reviews from friends and family, or I mean, well, no, let me take that back. <laughs> you need 10 reviews from your previous clients, but you can send that review link to friends and family and be like, yo, can you send me a review? Okay, um, it has to be from a different email address and a different like uh, IP address. So don't try to send like make up 10 email address and send it from your laptop because they're going to like not let that slide. <laughs> okay. I've tried it. That's why I can tell you like, of course. Right. But, um, but yes, so Thumbtack, like you can literally go live on Thumbtack and get leads in that same day. That's what I mean by like how fast it is. Okay. Um, and if you don't have a big budget, start off with the smallest budget you can get those leads, do that job, take that money, put it back in to get more leads and keep that cycle going until you have like a really good healthy budget. Um, and what is a good healthy budget you're asking? Um, it's really up to, depends up to you, right? Um, Thumbtack will kind of let you know per your area what budget is competitive or not. Um, it has like this little scroll thing and like um, you can put in your budget and it'll let you know like if, if this budget is competitive enough against other providers, right? Um, and don't feel forced to stick with that budget if it's too high. Like build up, scale up, you know, that's comfortable within yourself. Um, and if you want to just go for the gusto, turn that bad boy on max, okay? Because I mean like when, when I was, you know, living the best life on Thumbtack, I had it on unlimited. So there was no budget. It, they just came rolling in and I kept them rolling out. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's essentially what you will need. You want to make sure that, that you have all those key foundational pieces because all of those things, oh, then I did forget one. You guys, I forgot a pretty important one. Um, insurance. You want to make sure that you have insurance. Okay. His cocks are next. Those are two good ones. Um, so you just want to make sure that your funds and your business is protected. But that is essentially what you need. You need your foundational pieces set up. You need to find your cleaners, um, do your interview process with them, do the, do the background check, make sure that they have their all their own supplies and equipment, um, and then start finding your clients and marry them bad boys together and you collect the difference. Um, there's some other videos that can go more into detail on this, um, or you can join the course and I kind of like super break everything down, down, down to the T of every step. 
but you know that's essentially what you would need to get your business started from scratch would you want to pay your cleaners you can pay them percentage you can pay them hourly i always recommend percentage uh, i do a flat rate based upon the total dollar amount um but you can pay hourly i find that cleaners tend to milk that a little bit more but but yeah that's that's that is bare bone basic y'all hear jay savory's back <laughs> Hold on, Jay Savory. Bare bone basic, that is what you guys will need to start your cleaning business from scratch. So I hope this helps. If you guys have more questions, please drop them down below. That way I can get back on here and start answering you guys your questions. I know I've been MIA, but your girl is back, all right? Um, and I'm just excited to keep giving you guys so much more knowledge and value. And if you're ready to like really, really launch your business, join the CEO Cleaning Academy, get the course. It's only $197 until January 1st. It will be going up, but uh, right now it's only $197. You guys will get full lifetime access. It's a self-paced course, and it will literally give you everything you need, okay? So I love you guys. I will see you guys next time. Um, and please like, share, subscribe, do all the things of all the things. And, um, and I'll be back with more videos. All right, bye y'all.